car crashes into a home, explodes into flames, and set the house and another car in the driveway on fire. Amazingly, no one was hurt. How did this happen? Who was the driver and how did he escape? Wheat News reporter Jolena Esperto is live along Leland Heights Boulevard in Lehigh Acres. Jolena, what have you been able to put piece together? Well, there's no official word from LCSO yet on the cause, what might have caused this accident, but I spoke with one man who I met yesterday who told me it's got to be speed. He said drivers go so fast along this stretch of Leland Heights Boulevard that he actually went to LCSO himself to say he wants to see something done. So today I got a hold of a radar gun and my photographer Luis and I spent an hour watching cars race by. At least 20 cars were going 10 to 20 miles over the posted 40 mile an hour speed limit. Neighbors across the street sent me this video of people rushing to pull the driver involved in yesterday afternoon's crash out of the car and out of the flames. One man told me he's more amazed at the fact that there are not more crashes like this one people run down through there anywhere 60 70 miles an hour dump trucks are running up and down through there 50 miles an hour I get passed on a regular basis driving down through there between 35 and 40 just in trying to trying to somewhat maintain and people drop out and pass you on in a residential street it happens every day lot of frustration in this neighborhood because people told me they don't know what to do to get the message out and make it clear that Leland Heights Boulevard is dangerous. It's not safe. So new at six, you're going to hear more about what they'd like to see done. Live in Lehigh Acres, Jolina Esperto, Wink News.